Well, dance is a crucial part of Hispanic heritage as a way of celebrating cultures and preserving the past, Brian. As 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana shows us, a new group is already making a lasting impact in Las Vegas and beyond. Step by step, movement after movement. These Las Vegas teens dance with power and purpose. They're part of Grupo Folklorico Libertad de Las Vegas, a team dedicated to preserving and promoting Mexican traditions through dance, the choreography and the costumes appearing exactly as they were intended without any modifications or modernization. You just want to get that flowy movement out the skirt. 19 year old Emily Casillas joined the group three years ago right after it was first created. She says it's a way to connect to her roots. I like it a lot. It's, it gives you a new taste of different things teaches you a little bit about your, your own culture and your history. That's also the reason why 18-year-old Brian Mercado Gonzalez got involved. Before Folklorico, I was in Mariachi. You know, I was just trying to do stuff that was like, you know, from my culture, trying to experience it, trying to learn from it. Grupo Folklorico Libertad de Las Vegas started with only eight people in 2017 and has now grown into a 50-person group with dancers of all ages. Each of the thousands of dance styles, a love letter to the locals in Mexico who created them. We're showing them what the, Mexi the Mexican culture truly is. Subdirector Juan Aburto Cardenas is in charge of the choreography. He says teaching these traditional movements involves more than just going through the motions. It's about explaining why they do them. Like let's say for example I tell them hey do a, do a stomp. They do a simple stomp. But I'm like the stomp is important because of this and that. And that, now when I say do a stomp they go you know they add that, like a little emphasis into it. Their attention to detail has led to major performances in Las Vegas and around the country, but this year has been a challenge. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed a lot of plans for this group, including postponing rehearsals and canceling a trip to Paris where they were set to perform on the international stage. We're still, you know, planning for the future. We're not leaving. We're not. We're here. Co-founder and director Carla Villalobos Cardenas tells me once the pandemic passes, she wants the group to get back on track and perform at festivals all over the world. But her main mission is still top of mind. Sharing um, knowledge from generation to generation, that's what keeps, you know, our roots and culture, you know, going on from even like when we're not even here anymore. <laughs> Emily and Brian are the future of Folklorico in Las Vegas and understand it's up to them to keep the legacy alive. By the time we get to that certain age, we can start teaching it as well. I would like to pass it on to my children as well so the culture won't be lost. Preserving the passion one step at a time. Orco Mana, 8 News Now. Grupo Flocorico Libertad de Las Vegas says its impact goes well beyond its members. Families of the dancers are very involved and are often included in the lessons about traditional Mexican folklore.